Yo guys, Marty here with another quick video. So, Raft. Are you addicted to Raft? I know I am. So, as you start to get further into the game, you will start to find um, islands with animals on. And you can catch those animals, bring them back to your, your Raft, your ship, you know, your fortress, your floating home. And you can keep them. And all you need to do is catch them with a net launcher. However, you will get to the islands before you have the full things you need for the net launcher and it'd be quite confusing how to how to bridge that gap so the net launcher is really easy to make but the hard part is the ammo and by the time you get to that island you probably won't have ammo and you won't know how to make it so as you go to the research table you'll already have the net probably but you won't have the um the ammo because you need explosive powder and there's no explanation in game of where to get this or how to get it um, but this comes from a puff fish so, and you might not have even seen one of these because they are quite rare, quite hard to find. So once you get to the big islands, the large islands with, uh, with animals on, and this for me was after I, I don't want to ruin the story, but after I used the receiver and went to the first location, that's all I'll say. Um, once I did that, I started to find large islands with animals on. Um, when you go to those islands, as you look around the island, similar to how there's reefs with, um, you know, rocks, um, iron and copper, seaweed, all that, you will find these little yellow fish, little puffer fish floating around in those areas. The best way to find them is as, sometimes there's like floating debris on the top of the water, which can be an indicator. I've also seen shipwrecks underwater, which uh, they normally float around. Um, and in my experience, there's like three or four on these big islands. So you do have to hunt them down but you, you should, once you find the big island, you should be able to find them. Um, and once you kill these, these puffer fish, you get explosive goo. Now, go to your furnace, similar to, you know, iron, copper and seaweed, you melt this goo down to get the explosive powder. Now, the annoying part is, the first time you do this, you have to actually research the design like everything else. So you lose the explosive powder. So you're going to have to kill at least two fish to get your first piece of net ammo like i say you should be able to do that all on one island however you can make a big mistake and the fish can um well it puffs up and blows up and then you get nothing so here's here's the tip if you get too close to the puffer fish it will puff up and explode and you'll get nothing so melee weapons are very risky i tried using a metal spear on this and i think it took like four hits and it probably takes more if you've got a wooden spear so you have to swim up close, give it a poke, and then swim back. In my opinion, it's so easy to get this wrong. I don't know what I did right and wrong to, to get the kill and then for it to puff up. So there's definitely a distance limit that's quite hard to judge. So in my opinion, the uh, the bow and arrow is a, is, is a much safer choice because you can keep your distance. And then if, if you have to get close, just pull the spear out the last minute. Hopefully that's enough to get a kill. Um, and as you kill it, you will get all your arrows back. So yeah, that's it really guys. Once you get to the big islands with the animals on, look for floating debris, look for shipwrecks, hunt down the puffer fish, keep away, get a kill, kill a couple of them because one of them needs to be used for your research, make your net ammo, make your net, go catch your animals and have fun. While you're here, there is a big subscribe button, pressing it makes me very happy and we'll deliver raft content straight to you. Um, I also stream on Twitch, link below if you want to uh, watch content like this live. Other than that, thanks a lot and I'll catch you in the next one guys.